Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Elinwyn, the Thalmor Ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? Don't worry. My parties are always well stocked with the finest food and drink available in this country. But first, you were introducing yourself. Please, Madam, tell me more about yourself. So what brings you to this... to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the... Of course. The I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, enjoy yourself. What can I get for you? You may... Yes, what do you need? Of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around? The Great War is long past. It's time the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion put aside their differences. Prosperity is good for everyone. For the man who knows how to make money, war can be a most profitable venture. You must be new to Skyrim or you'd already know who I am. I have a stake in most anything of importance in solitude. I feel that it's time to put aside the grievances of the past and let peace and prosperity flourish between the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion. I try to do my little part. Besides, just between you and me, it's making me pots of money. <laughs> but not every Nord is obsessed with strength, honor, and skill at arms. A rare few... As for honor, well, there are some luxuries even I can't afford. There's a likely-looking filly, even if she is an elf. You there, serving girl! What's your name, dear? Ah, Freyla, sir. Do you need a drink? Something to eat? No, no, that's not what I'm interested in right now. I just wanted to get a better look at you. I like what I see, my dear. And believe me, I don't say that to everyone. I'm very discriminating when it comes to the female form. Ah, thank you, sir. Was there anything else I could do for you? Oh, not at the moment. Maybe later. Don't go far. Yes, sir. I'm so glad you spoke see it. that serving girl? I hear elf insatiable. Really? Yes, maybe that would be just the thing. She seemed to be playing hard to get when I spoke to her earlier. Go on. See what she says. Now you've gone and gotten my hopes up again. I don't recall seeing you at one of these before. And I know everyone who's anyone What can I get? I hope you're enjoying yourself, sir. Huh. Erica, right? He was talking to me earlier. I could tell what he was after. I hate working these parties. Some of the guests are nice, but there's always a few like Erika. Please tell him to leave me alone, politely. I'm sure you'll have better luck getting through to him than I would. See ya. There are words spoken, and words unspoken. Have you talked to Braylus yet? I'm not a patient man, you know. Ha <laughs> I knew it. No woman yet born has been able to resist my charms for long. Thank you, my friend. I owe you one. What? I'm sorry, sir, but you must have misunderstood. I'm not permitted to leave the party. Oh, I don't think so. I think I understand perfectly. Don't worry, my dear. I will make any necessary excuses to your employer. No, I'm sorry, but I can't go anywhere with you. I won't. Please, I, I must get back to my duties. Don't you dare walk away from me, you slut! Do you know who I am? Let's go, let's go! Please. Before anyone notices us. Now you're going to be sorry you crossed me! Ellen Wen! 
This servant girl has been throwing herself at me in a most disgusting manner. Is that so, Erica? Let me do the docking. So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking, got it? Follow me. Who comes, Malvern? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Savani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. Better lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Good Did luck. you see those robes? You're on your own this morning. Who are they with? More of the emissaries treaty. Forces. Stop! No, they're high mages, just in from Alinor. I guess herself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. Ah, good. I've been wondering how we were supposed to defend this place from the dragon. If a dragon does... Expenses you silence. Do not presume, Lizard. You are most useful, but do not presume. We have other in performance who are less offensive. No one else has brought you such valuable information, have they? Etienne, he's talked, has he? Stop, please. I don't know anything else. Don't you think I'd have told you already? Silence. You know the... Ah! Ah! I told you. I don't know anything else about it. What? Who? What? What do you want then? Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Come on, this way. 
I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead somewhere. No problem. Thanks for springing me. I owe you. Look me up in Riften if you make it out. What did you tell him? Why did you do this to me? Oh, thank you. I don't understand what's happening. I can't stay here. What will I do now? Listen up, spy. You're trapped in here. We have your accomplice. Surrender immediately, or you both die. Never mind. Silence. Dead of Someone there. Death is highly overrated. Oh Did that really just happen? Surrender immediately, or you both die. Never mind. Silence. I'm dead Trader. already. Move slowly. What was that? We're routed. Fall back. Do your work. Surrender immediately, or you both die. Never mind. Silence. I'm dead traitor. already. Move. Slowly. Someone there. Never should have come here. Victory's yours, I submit! Oh well. Must have run off. Now the Thalmor will be hunting. Huh? I should have known this would end badly. I can't believe I let Delphine talk me into this. Let's get out of here for pity's sake. You didn't have to help me, so...
Thanks. You made it out alive, at least. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Did you learn anything useful? Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that. Esbern? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esbern was one of the blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. Ironic, right? The old enemies assume that every calamity must be a plot by the other side. Even so, we've got to find Esbern before they do. He'll know how to stop the dragons if anybody does. Do they know where he is? Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Ask around the Ragged Flagon in the Ratway. It's at least a good starting point. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. Still have quite a good bit of jobs available. Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. I think you'll find this payment to be more than fair. What's the matter? Afraid of getting your hands dirty? So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Lot of people looking for him. Don't know his name. But he's paid good money for nobody to know he's down here. He's holed up in the Ratway wards. Hardly ever leaves the place. Has someone bring him food and such. Crazy old coot from what I've heard. For that to stand out down here, he must really be off his nut. He's holed up in the Ratway warrens. Be careful. You're not the only one looking for him. Now that you mention it, there is. I have a buyer with, uh, shall we say, a very odd taste in literature, looking for some particular books. I'm told they're the ravings of a madman, a wizard named Arundel, and his peculiar cravings. It's said to be spread across four volumes and very hard to come by. My client is offering quite a reward for then we have a deal. In his later years, Arundel moved into some ice caves known as Ingvild. Recently, a woman was found, naked and shivering along the road to Dawnstar. The only information the guard could get from her were tales of strange experiments, and Arundel scribbling in his journals. Only rumors. He used to have a home in Dawnstar until they burned it down. The people say he was doing unspeakable experiments on reanimation. Rituals only a necromancer would perform. After he made for Ingvild, he was never heard from again. Good day. Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. That one. 